Welcome back to Body Talk. My name's Bill. I'm a physical therapist assistant, and I answer your questions about things that are going on with your body. I try to make videos to give you exercises, stretches, and ways you can fix yourself. Sally from Sheboygan wrote in and said, hey, you know, I've been getting treated for tennis elbow, and it doesn't seem to be getting better. What's going on? Well, first thing, tennis elbow is when you have a pain on the outside of your elbow, right at that bony prominence. The reason for that is that's where the muscles, the extensor muscles of your wrist attach. It brings your wrist back like this. A lot of times when there's weakness here or trigger points, it pulls there and causes pain. But most of the time that tennis elbow doesn't get better, it's because the therapist isn't addressing the arm as a functional unit. The wrist, the elbow, and most importantly, the shoulder blade. So this is where the muscles attach that come into your shoulder. When they don't do their job, you get more pulling and wear and tear here. So when I treat people with golfer's elbow or tennis elbow, I make sure to strengthen all three of these, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. The first one is really good. So these muscles here, that's what pulls your wrist up like this. So doing a gentle stretch, pulling it down like that. Every time you come to a red light, just grab your hand. Push it down against the dashboard or just hold it and make sure you stretch. If you get in here with your fingers and do a little bit of massage, you'll find little tender spots. You don't have to beat them up or mash on them. Just gently strum back and forth across them. Next, make sure that if you're sitting at your computer, you're doing any kind of work, you're not pulling your shoulders up towards your ears. You want to pull them gently down and away. That gives stabilization to the shoulder and that's really where these problems start. This becomes unstable. These have to work more. That causes the, the uh, golfer's elbow or the tennis elbow in this case. I'm going to go show you a couple exercises that you can do to strengthen both the, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist to try and help you get rid of that tennis elbow. In treating tennis elbow, you have to keep each of the joints both flexible and strong. To get flexibility, take your palms, put them flat on a table, and gently, with your arms straight, rock your body weight back and forth five or ten times. Take your hands, flip them over, rock your body weight back and forth. No pinching, no pain. If this hurts in the wrist, back off. Keep your knuckles there. Gently move it to wherever you have. Then take your hands and flatten them out again with your arms straight. Turn the creases of your elbows forward. Turn the creases of your elbows back. This is also a really good one if you have carpal tunnel or you, you just type a lot or use your wrist back and forth five or ten times. You can strengthen by grabbing yourself a weight. If you don't have a weight, you can use a can of beans or anything at home. Let your shoulder relax. Make sure it's depressed and down. You don't have it up here. That's where these problems begin. Gently push your elbow down into a pillow, down into a tabletop. Use a wrist action of extension. Bring the wrist up and more importantly, slowly back down. When you have a problem like tennis elbow, it's considered a tendonitis. That means an inflammation of the tendon. They respond best to what's called eccentric strengthening, the really slow return, lowering of the weight. Try five, 10, 15, or 20 of these. Work your way up to what you can do without pain. Then turn the wrist. Take it up and down. And then turn the wrist again. Take it up, take it down. Then you can just drop that weight, keeping your elbow resting on a pillow, resting on an armrest in the car, or even just a tabletop or sofa arm. Push your elbow down into that pillow. You're creating scapular depression, scapular stabilization. Scapular is that big triangular bone on the back that anchors the whole arm. When it's strong and doing its job, it's taking work off of these other joints. And breathe. Excellent. You can grab one of these exercise rubber bands, hold it in both hands, try to take that arm out like it's swinging away from you. Again, making sure to keep that shoulder down away from your ears. Control it. These are all great exercises to help you get over tennis elbow. So any tendonitis really responds very well to ice. It responds very well to massage, just gently rubbing your fingers back and forth, all the way up and down the muscle bellies. Because remember, the muscle goes from the elbow 
all the way down to the wrist. Try these things for your carpal tunnel. If you have questions you'd like me to answer in the Body Talk podcast, just leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer your questions and make a video to show you how to treat what you have going on. Remember, it's Body Talk. Hit subscribe and share this with anybody you think might benefit from getting questions answered just like this one.